hi loves welcome back to the channel today's story you're going to be learning how to cover up a bra cup with a lace and lining so if this is what you're interested in please stay tuned until the end of this story you're going to be needing a lace a satin bra cups and your scissors and measuring tape the first thing you're going to do is to measure the width of the bra cup and once you're done with that you're going to have to divide this measurement by two and add up your allowance so next is for you to fold your lace into four so you're going to have to fold into two and then fold in again that is making it into four and then insert the measurement that you got from dividing your measurement into two plus your seam allowance so starting from the edge of that folded fabric you are going to measure whatever you have measure it all around just to create a circle and then you cut this out So now that you have cut this out, you are going to have to divide this circle into two again. So this remember that we cut out two at once. So we are going to have to divide it in such a way that you are going to divide it into four. Okay. So what you want to do is to measure the midpoint of the circle while unfold and then from the edge of the two parts that is the upper and the down part you're going to come in by three quarter of an inch and then connect it back to the center of the circle now it's time for you to cut this out so while cutting make sure not to leave any sharp points okay because you want this to lay flat without being pointed after you must have joined this together once you are done with this what this is what you should have so this is what we have you're going to have to repeat the same thing to the underlay okay so for the underlay i'm making use of this satin is a dull face bridal satin so go ahead and cut exactly the same thing that you cut out for the lace fabric on the satin so after we're done this is what your underlay should look like and then repeat the same thing to the lining piece so for this lining i'm making use of a china lining that is a cotton lining but you can actually make use of a, your satin for this also so it depends on what you want and what you desire the look you desire to achieve so that is what you should consider all right so after we are done with all of this this is what you are going to be having now placing right side facing each other you are going to have to arrange it how we are going to insert this now we are going to do away with the lining at first and then work on the lining and uh, work on the lace fabric and the underlay okay so what you are going to do is to insert the underlay of the lace which is the bridal satin now this is the way you're going to arrange this the right side of the bridal satin should be facing the wrong side of the lace fabric okay so that is how you're going to arrange that and then you use your pins to hold it down So go over to your sewing machine and stitch this all around you can equally make use of your hemming gum but i see no reason for that since you can easily match up with your sewing machine all right so just to hold it down hold the um, underlay and the lace together 
this is why we are doing this and once you are done you're going to have to cut off the excess lace that might be puffing out of um the underlay so repeat the same thing for the second part of the lace and then now it's time for us to join this together so you're going to have to place the right side together of one part of the lace place them together and sew using half an inch once you're done sewing this you're going to have to notch okay and after you notch this keep this aside repeat the same thing to the other part and then go right there to your ironing table and iron the seams down okay to lay flat so once you are done with that you are going to repeat the same thing to the lining piece so this is my lining piece and i'm joining using half an inch as well and then place your notch and go right to your ironing table again and iron this down okay so after we're done this is it we are going to have to cover our bra cup right now so to cover up you can cover um, horizontally or vertically it depends on what you prefer and then um stitching these you're going to make sure that the join part is right at the center of the cup and then you stitch the upper part of the cup all right so if you buy your bra cup you're going to notice that there is this part that is not so thick that is where you're going to be making your stitches okay and after you sew the upper part you're going to have to turn this um at the right side okay so making the right side facing you you're going to stitch this all around okay and then you trim up the excess lace so after you are done um, trimming up the excess lace for the down part to the upper part you are going to leave half an inch while trimming this out okay and that is where you are going to be turning your lining piece from okay so exactly the same thing that you did for the other part of the cup that is what you are going to repeat to the second part of the cup and then once you are done also trim it out and leave half an inch at the upper part now it's time for us to bring in the lining piece you can see what the cup looks like so the lining piece you're going to place it right side facing each other that is the right side of the lining should be facing the right side of the cup and then placing it horizontally again making sure that the seam is right at the center all right you're going to have to stitch the lining to the half inch that you left on that upper part okay don't stitch on the bra cup at this time just follow the line the half an inch that you left and then stitch once you are done you are going to have to trim off the excess and then turn this over and top stitch So you can see i am trying to notch this and once i'm done notching it i'm going to go ahead and top stitch now you are top stitching towards the lining piece not towards the bra cup okay and after you are done with this you go ahead and flip it over and then you top stitch again okay 
um this way your lining is not going to be puffing out of the bra cup okay you can as well make use of a hemming gum to hold this down but i prefer to make use of my stitches okay that way it won't come out when the hemming gum um is about to get weak okay you know that hemming gums can get weaker so it's better for you to hold anything down with your stitches so now it's time for us to top stitch the remaining part of the lining and you can see the way i'm doing this do this in such a way that the lining is not going to be too loose or too tight okay just place your hand inward and then that way you can achieve this so as um, to be able to leave a space where your breast should accommodate okay so after we were done with this this is the two bra cups and we are finally done so if you enjoy every bit of this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up bye